Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Friday, October 27th, 2023, Friday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of, of the, the Son, and, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 12, verses 54 through 59. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection If we read between the lines, Jesus' words in today's gospel tell us a lot about the attitudes of those to whom he was speaking. His listeners were utterly complacent, and he was probably trying to shake off that complacency by telling them to read the signs of the times. How frustrating it must have been for Jesus to come to those who had been praying for a Messiah all these years, only to find that they neither accepted nor believed in him. They didn't seem willing to even have an open mind to give him a chance. But Jesus calls each one of us today to fight our own tendency to become complacent. Sometimes we need to take baby steps to create a good regiment of prayer, fasting, and service in life so that we're ready to make larger, more concrete resolutions. Accomplishing these smaller goals will help us to become more confident in our relationship with God and our ability to follow Him. And then slowly we'll find that we will grow in virtue. It's true that the ideals of Christian life are lofty, But God always gives us some concrete steps that we can take proactively each day. Ultimately, such a proactive attitude requires a lot of humility on our part because it underscores the fact that we cannot reach our high ideals with one powerful leap. Instead, most of us will take little baby steps to grow in virtue or to draw closer to God. Maybe that's why it's so difficult to proactively invest in our spiritual life instead of relying on our own control. It requires an increasing degree of surrender to the work of grace in us. And so today, let's pray that God will stir in us a desire to recommit ourselves to a life of faith and help us to take those baby steps on the road to a virtuous life. May we be docile enough to allow Christ to work in our souls. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.